All right, so another application of a queue would be when you um, print to a printer, okay? Um, maybe it's not so much with like the paper cut follow me stuff, but like a traditional printer. Um, maybe you have a printer at home that's connected to multiple computers. And so you might print something for school and, and a parent might print something else. Um, but basically whoever prints first wins, right? The first person to print that print job is going to come out of the printer first. And the second person to print has to wait in the queue until it's their turn. So we're going to simulate this with a queue of strings um, for different print jobs. So we'll say create a print queue of strings using a linked list. So we're going to we can't create a new queue because queue is an interface. So we're going to create a new linked list object, but assign it to a variable of type queue. And then later we'll explore other concrete implementations of the queue class, but we're going to start with this. So we're going to create a queue of strings. I'm going to call it jobs for like print jobs, but I'll create a new linked list object. But because I've assigned it to a variable of type Q, thinking back to this is one of those tricky things from AP Computer Science, I can only call Q methods on the variable jobs. I can't call all the linked list methods. All right, let's add several print jobs. So we'll say jobs.add. Joe prints the expense report number one. Good job, Joe. All right. Kathy is going to print meeting memo. Right. There we go. They're both in the queue. At this point, the printer turns on, warms up, does whatever it is that printers do that takes forever before they actually print anything. Um, and then it's going to print something. So we're just going to print that to the screen. Print Lynn, the printer is printing, and it's going to print whatever is removed from the queue. So we just call jobs.remove. It's removed from the head of the queue, and it will print whatever that string is. Okay. It should be Joe's expense report because Joe printed first. While the expense report is printing, people print more stuff. Kathy prints purchase order number one. Joe prints expense report number two. They are so productive. And uh, Joe then prints the weekly report. All of that happens while the printer is printing. The printer finishes the print job and it's gonna print something else. So let's capture that. We're gonna say printing We're gonna remove the next item in the print queue, which should be Kathy's meeting memo. That should come out of the printer. All right, let's do one more. While Kathy's meeting memo is printing, Kathy is gonna print purchase order number two. And at this point, Joe and Kathy are like, this printer is so slow, we're gonna go to lunch. Um, and when we come back, maybe it'll be done. So here is a little code snippet that we often write when we want to basically remove everything remaining in the queue. So this will print the rest of the jobs in the queue. And usually we just say while jobs.size. So size wasn't on the slides, but it's, it's a generic or it's a general container method. We can call that on any container, including the queue. So while size is greater than zero, while there's still stuff in the queue, print it. Printing, we'll just call remove again. There we go. So 
So read through the code, predict what should be printed here, what should be printed here, and then finally what's printed here. Go ahead and run it and make sure your prediction matches your observation. 